Hello friends, this is Risk. I'm glad you're here because today I want to show you something so functional, so practical, it may just blow your mind. XC Source GoPro Accessory Kit. And I say GoPro, but obviously this will work with any other action camera that uses GoPro mounts, which are pretty much all of them. Not as if they were copying GoPro, they just came up with the same idea a year later. But out of the bat, you might be wondering, why is this guy showing us yet another accessory kit? We must have seen them all. Well, let me give you two reasons. Number one, this isn't just a kit. This is the kit, the cream of the crop, the king of kits. But the second reason is quite important. There are a lot of misconceptions in a vogue about how those GoPro accessories should be used. And the tendency is to purchase those kids in large quantities, bigger the better. So we get something like 24 or 36 accessories. And then we end up using just one or two and everything else becomes a landfill. So I'm going to try to summarize the proper use of those accessories. So hopefully you won't have to buy too many. But hey, I don't expect you just to take my word for it. I'm actually going to discuss each and every accessory in this box. So then you know it's real purpose versus common wisdom. As you can see, those accessories inside are just bursting out of the box with creative ideas. So you know what, why don't we just get rid of that box? There you have it, my version of unboxing. So let's see what comes with this kit. So what you are getting here are eight accessories, which in my opinion is a perfect balance between far too many and not enough of them. So you don't have to pick and choose your favorite because all of them might be your favorites. So let me show you why. Okay, I want to discuss this as my first accessory because there are a lot of misconceptions out there about its real purpose. And I don't know how this information circulated the globe and just become readily acceptable because this is often referred to as floating bottle. And I might say something. I don't just believe what people tell me. Before I believe, I need to try it by myself. And that's exactly what I did with this item. For that reason, I conducted a thorough and intense research. I really put it through its paces. I took some risks. I took it to different environments, sweet and salt waters, oceans, seas, dead sea, lakes, ponds, rivers, waterfalls, streams and even potholes and the result is always the same its buoyance is just insufficient to support my body weight and i always go down under the water so floating bottle this is not but let me tell you what this is this is simply a whiskey bottle so the idea behind it is that you down the whole bottle directly before filming with your gopro action camera and that way you get a lot more creative so essentially what you need to do to use it properly is to draw yourself like a scale from 1 to 10. So 1 bottle if you want to be just slightly more excited and 10 if you need like a super boost of enthusiasm. So for instance, if you film in action, 1 bottle will be more than sufficient because you're already excited anyway. But if you're on the other side of the spectrum and you're filming something like documentary, you may need 10 of them to boost your creativity and enthusiasm. And I think this is what they do in BBC, hence the reason why they supply one of the best documentary in the world. Whereas all other BBC divisions are, hmm, they need a lot of whiskey. In fact, I should have had one or two of these before filming this video, so I wouldn't have to worry about whispering just because it's the middle of the night and my flatmates are asleep. But anyway, if whiskey or bourbon are your favorite, at some point you may have had far too many. Fear not, 
because Exesaurus supplied this lanyard, a wrist strap, to help you gain your balance back. So all you need to do is wrap it around your wrist and connect the other end to something stable, like a lamppost maybe, or your friend, who didn't have that many. And once you gain your balance back, you're ready to go out there. You're ready to continue with the momentum and taking your favorite shots with your GoPro camera whilst you are having the shots. Isn't that incredible if used properly? Thanks Exesource for including this. I will definitely use it. Okay, the second accessory I want to discuss here is this. These are dedicated mounts for surfers. So all the surfers out there will be now ecstatic. They will be just packing to test it out. They will be in their point break. And I'm super excited myself because I'm only skipping distance from Atlantic Ocean. I'm in London. So to get to Cornwall is like slightly over 300 miles. So I can't wait to test it out. However, if you aren't that lucky and you live somewhere remote, perhaps you could get yourself like a poster with your favorite surfer. Just make sure he or she holds the board in front of them. So that way you can attach one of these mounts on their surfboard. Isn't that amazing? So you will get almost real life experience, right? However, I must warn you, this will add some weight to your poster and you don't want your poster to come off along with your valuable camera and your mounts, right? So we need to have a way to secure it. Luckily, XC-Source supplied these tether lines. So all you need to do is to drill some holes in your concrete wall. Obviously, this will require some DIY knowledge. From my experience, don't go too extreme. Maybe 10 or 12 millimeter drill bit will be sufficient to hold this in place. And this in turn will hold your mount and your camera firmly attached to your wall. So once you completed this exercise, you will have almost the same amount of experience as the surfers from staring at this poster. And you know, our minds are powerful. There isn't a long route from staring at to staring in. With all your experience, you could actually get hired eventually for the next Hollywood production, like next iteration of Point Break. But as you know, those remakes sometimes suck. And if you don't want to be part of it, but just have a knowledge of surfing, you can just tell them, meh. Okay, since we are in Waterworld, I want to stay there for a minute longer. This is probably the most versatile accessory in the box. And if manufacturers decided to include this on its own in the box, it would be still a worthwhile purchase because this is the kit in itself. Let me explain why. So obviously this is a sponge, right? So why do we need a sponge whilst filming with our GoPro? Well, I believe they took the inspiration from Hollywood here, actually. As you may have heard in Hollywood, they often take breaks and they go back to their trailers and they can take shower there, refresh themselves, meet someone. But I digress now. So essentially they want us to have almost Hollywood-like experience, right, with this sponge. So we could go back to our trailer and take a shower. But if you don't currently own your trailer, fear not, because all you need to do is just knock on someone's door, just about anyone. People are trained to be nice and they will let you in and use their shower. Just ask them. I have a small problem here. I've been using my camera for like 10 hours consecutively and I'm somewhat sweaty. Is there any chance I can use your shower? Um, yeah, sure, come in. You can use my shower. You can eat my food. You can even date my daughter. As long as you don't complain, you're fine. But this actually has a second purpose, which is obviously to make your camera float on the surface of the water. As you can see, they even supplied the back door for your ancient GoPro. So you can just replace the standard one with this in your enclosure. But if you currently have a newer GoPro, then you can probably just modify it slightly by cutting off the screen with a grinder, but do it at your own risk. And you, if you are not comfortable 
with doing it on your own, ask the professional to do it for you. But had you figured out how to attach this on the back of your GoPro, you can make it essentially float on the surface of the water. And if you leave your camera filming and say you were at the bottom of the ocean searching for some inspiration, at some point you may need a rescue, right? You're running out of breath and you need a rescue. What you could do is attach maybe like a piece of string or rope directly to your camera's lens. And as you pull yourself up and you've left your camera filming, you are capturing this incredible footage. You will be on border with Hollywood production like. Isn't that awesome? Like a rescue situation. So with this particular accessory, we can have this dramatic footage captured on our GoPro cameras. Hence the reason why I like it so much and it's dual purpose. So thank you Exisos for including this in the box. Okay, the next item I want to discuss here is this, and this is probably the most advanced accessory in our kit. And I'm super stunned. Exisos supplied this in our kit for free. And obviously you would use it assuming that you've used the previous accessory, the sponge. So now your body is wet, I need to dry it up. So believe it or not, each rectangular pad here expands when absorbed some moisture to your standard sized bathroom towel. However, this could be somewhat dangerous, hence the reason why Exisor supplied this silica gel to keep the moisture away. Because believe me, this, as soon as it receives like a speck of the moisture, it's like BAM! It just explodes out of the packet like nothing you've seen before. So be careful, you've been warned. But I'm always amazed how technology advances these days and to have this included for free is just incredible. Thank you, XCSource. Okay, the next accessory I want to discuss here are these mounts and I'm really happy I'm making this video because these are often used incorrectly so let me explain how you should use it so obviously these are the curved and the flat mounts and what you need to do here is to press it really hard with one another if you haven't got that much strength if you haven't had your flap jug, you can probably use the vise to kind of compress it really hard. But what you are trying to achieve is to make it kind of flush and make them stay together like this. So what you've created for yourself is a camera rig, but not just a camera rig. It's a 360 camera rig or almost 360. Because all you need to do is to attach the GoPro on either side of the mount, right? And what you will get is 170 degrees field of view combined with another 170 degrees field of view, which will eventually give you 340 degrees field of view. So you're only really missing 20 degrees from the whole freaking 360. But do you think anyone will even notice that you're missing those 20 degrees? I don't think they will. And the best about it is included free in our accessory kit so you don't have to buy dedicated camera or dedicated 360 rig to capture 360 footage so i'm saving you money now you can thank me later okay here is an example of another accessory with a misconception about its actual purpose so i'm really happy to discuss what this really is this is often referred to as head strap and as long as it fits your head you could use it that way so majority would just put this on their forehead and they film what's in front of them right but essentially you're achieving exactly the same objective you could achieve with any other accessory designed for GoPro right so let me tell you what this is this was actually designed with biker in mind so this is motorcyclist specific mount all you need to do is turn it round to the back of your head 
and if you use it in conjunction with the previous accessory you can attach one of these to the back of your motorcycle and then all you need to do is connect the two with something sturdy like a metal brace or rod and essentially you've made yourself a cruise control and you no longer need to buy an expensive motorcycle with cruise control because you have a budget version of it included for free in your accessory kit so now your head is stable your body relaxed you are as mellow as your cat so you can let go your handlebars and I guess just cruise along until you've run out of petrol but do it at your own risk I haven't tested it myself just yet but I will do as soon as I can because I'm a biker myself so I'm super pumped to see this included in this uh, amazing accessory kit so once again thank you XC Source here is an example of another accessory that could be used better let me explain how so this is often referred to as chesty in GoPro community so it's a chest mount and of course you could use it that way but before I discuss this let me just show you the quality of it it's finish how well polished this is and this is also a fingerprint magnet so this is essentially almost like back of your smartphone experience except for this you don't have to pay 1500 pounds and by the way if any GoPro accessory manufacturer ever decides to charge us 1500 pounds for it don't buy it don't be silly don't let it become a commonplace we are having to spend 1500 pounds on GoPro accessory okay and don't put your tent up in front of the store to get this first just because it's expensive be smart but anyway I digress so since this is quite substantial I think we could probably use it on animals you could use it on larger animals maybe like a horse or dog and by the way I don't endorse any animal cruelty make sure the animals are safe when you work with them if you want to use it on cat make sure it's a larger cat maybe lion or tiger could be a good example but if you don't have any lions or tigers near you you could probably use it on a stray cat or your own cat but it will be really hard to kind of attach it on its bod on its tiny body so probably you will need something like epoxy resin to put put it on the on its back on its fur just be careful with it because it's really hard to remove so make sure you have a consent from your pussy before you do this and if you want to know how to use epoxy resin on her you can refer to um, police academy movies they've had some experience with this stuff uh, they've explained quite properly how you should use it so I'm thinking this is probably the best accessory for teetotalers because your animals will go to places you wouldn't go to so that way you get this creative footage and you don't even have to drink whiskey to do that so amazing accessory for teetotalers I'm longing to try it myself thank you XC Source okay and on to my last and final accessory and out of the bat I must say I don't like this accessory and I won't be able to recommend this to you as you can see obviously this is a compass right so at first glance everything seems fine this head rotates endlessly and this bit points towards the north but I don't know if this was supplied to me broken or there is like a major manufacturing fault because for some reason this thing turns too easily and as a content creator we will be carrying it in our pockets or backpacks and we can't let it turn and point to the wrong direction because we will be going to the wrong places and we would still need to rely on our sat nav in our smartphones so this is pretty much useless just imagine this if I was to visit Scotland I can do that now but if 
it accidentally turned to the right, now it points north towards the east, which is not feasible. That's not where I want to go. So instead of going towards Scotland, I will be going towards the English Channel. But actually, English Channel maybe isn't the best example. Because had I reached English Channel, I will be just steps away from my favorite country in the world, France, where even babies smoke cigarettes and start the revolution. And you can't mess about in France. That's why I love them so much. Take, for instance, the previous example I gave you with the sponge. If you were to use this sponge, right? If you were to knock on someone's door and ask them to use their shower, it would be as simple as knock, knock, hi, hi. Um, I've been filming with my GoPro for like 10 hours and I'm somewhat sweaty. Can I use your shower? Sure, come in. In France, it would have been slightly different. It would be like, knock, knock, who's this? Oh, hi, I've been using my GoPro for like 10 hours consecutively and I'm somewhat sweaty. Can I use your shower? What? Are you crazy? Are you stupid? Bang! Fuck off. And that's why I love France, because you can't mess about in France. This is how they deal with the problem, okay? Instead of letting it swing. But anyway, I digress again. So what I wanted to say is I will not be recommending this item to you until it's rectified by the manufacturer. And I hope representative from Exi Source is watching this video so they can amend this sooner rather than later. Until then, it won't be on my bucket list, okay? So with that, I will conclude this video. I hope this was somewhat useful to you. And now you know how to use those accessories properly. I hope you will get this amazing, incredible and creative footage. And if you feel there are some other purposes for those items, feel free to leave your comment down in section below. So that way we can help YouTube community so we could all enjoy our lives in front of the screen. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll hope you'll tune in for the next one. Peace. Oops, apologies. Bye now.